Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I don't have class until 1.35 and so I decided why not make a video of just my kind of everyday like college routine of what I do with my face because I definitely do it a little different than what I do on the weekend. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and it looks like this. This primer is so good. It actually reminds me of the Tatcha Poreless Primer, like literally so much cheaper, it's not even funny. And so I put like a lot of this on just because so good and I feel like it just makes my skin look so nice during the day and it really keeps my makeup like really bomb. So I am putting that all over my face. Okay. So now that that is on, I just go right in with foundation with the Huda Beauty Fox foundation and I'm going in with both shades shortbread shortbread 200 and latte 300N and that's shortbread 200B I believe what I like to do is I take like a half a pump of each Under and we're just gonna put that one okay now that I'm back I have my foundation on it's you know covered everything I love this foundation I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty I think yeah it's in the Tantor contour and bronze cream in shade light Beauty blender and I'm just gonna like bounce it in there and this is how I contour like every single day. I'm just gonna go into my cheekbones. And then I go around my forehead just because I really like a bronze look. And then I just take my beauty blender on the side And that's just how I like blend it in and you can see like it's not harsh like it's not like a super crazy like contour line it's just pretty blended in and bronzed I'm gonna take my morphe bronzer this bronzer is so good it's the really big bronzer and I have this in the shade phenom or F yeah Phenom and it's the Glamour Bronze. So this is face and body bronzer. It's super good and like I said, it's really affordable too. So then I'm just going to take this brush and just lightly go in with that. And just bronze up the side and this does give more of a definitely more like sculpted look on our forehead and I take more of a dense brush on my forehead just because I don't want it like on my whole entire forehead powder because the bronzer kind of set my um, contour so I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty setting powder and this is in shade Pound Cake. And I love this setting powder so much. The only thing that I don't like about it is the netting inside. So there's like netting in here. And so what I recommend is I took like a little like blade like a little straight razor blade hole in the middle there so that the powder comes out easier because it's I'm like really impatient with that stuff and it's just really annoying to like have to force like just the littlest amount of product out 
So I'm just going to take this little dense brush and I'm going to pack that all under my eyes. Always just go down around my smile lines because I literally smile like all day every day so we gotta cover we gotta make sure that is set my favorite part probably is blush I love a good blush and I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced um slush blush and it's the one that looks like this it's so pretty it has like sparkles in it and I'm just gonna take like a bigger why is that doing that I'm just gonna take like I don't know if you could see that because it was focusing weird but I'm just gonna take a bigger um brush and just put that like all over my cheek I love a lot of blush And I put it a little bit on my nose and that's kind of what I use to like set the rest of my face honestly and like you can't like really see it like it's not crazy like all everywhere like it just gives a little hint of pink and I just think that it makes you look like healthy and radiant and just super super good so this is my favorite part um, I take the Farsali 24 karat gold spray And then normally I will take like a hair dryer and I'll like blow dry my face and I feel like the heat really allows everything to like melt into your skin. It just makes your face look so nice. Okay, so for highlighter, I am going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Supreme Frost in the shade Diamond Wet. And this highlighter is so freaking nice. If I can get it to focus, like it's so good. And I'm just gonna go in with this highlighter brush. It's not even really a highlighter brush, it's just kind of whatever. But like it. Like it just really. highlights the crap out of you like it just looks so good and like so like literally wet and I do the tip of my nose I do down my nose a little my cupid's bow and on my chin and then I do my ears like I know that's crazy but like yes I highlight my ears and it's super cute so now that we've highlighted we're gonna move on to our eyebrows I like doing my eyebrows before I do my eyes so I just take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I use shade taupe. So what I do is I just, and I'm like looking over here because that's where my mirror is at. So I'm gonna, now we're done with our brows. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with eyeshadow. We're not gonna do anything crazy. So I just go in with the Morphe 39s palette it just has so many gorgeous colors as you can see and i never really know exactly what i'm gonna do with my eyes so i just kind of like go in so let me find my brush there it is okay so what i do is i always start off with this um like brown transition shade right here and um i just go all over the crease and like lower crease with that shade i really need a eyelash fill they're looking pretty rough but they're still there and then chill look today 
and I put that all over. And I just make sure like everything's super blended out because we don't like not being. I'm gonna go in with a really pretty copper color and just throw that all over our lid. So it's just like a super cute like cranberry copper look. And then I'm going to take the blending brush one more time and go in with that brown again and just blend all of that out and like together because we don't want like a really okay so those are the eyes just... shimmer and pop that in the crease and then i pop that up at the brow bone and then that is the eyes and then lastly I just take the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise mascara and since I do have lash extensions I'm not putting that on my lashes other than my bottom lashes even though I really need a fill because they look crazy and then I'm just going to take my brows again, but I'm going to take like the brush from it and it's clean and I just like go through my lashes. Ow. And lastly, what I do is I always line my lips because I don't know I just like love a good liner on your lips and the only color literally that I use is the makeup forever um, artist color pencil in the shade whatever walnut 606 and I always get the travel size ones because I use them on the go a lot And I just feel like um, this is like the shade of my lips, like the closest. It's also travel size. But I always put this on if you guys want like a really good lip gloss but like also chapstick this is the best I have ever had and found it's the Tarte in nude and I don't know exactly what it's called but like I have the full size one but I have that in my purse but every single time I order from Sephora I always if they have like a mini one I always get it because there's a good amount inside and I just use them like for not in my purse so this literally like makes your lips look so like healthy and juicy like so freaking good and juicy like like hello So this is the look guys. I'm really happy with it. This is literally what I do like every single day. Um, yeah, I just think that the look is super like clean. It's super nice. Um, it's just a really cute, simple, everyday look. And I mean, this video is kind of long, but realistically this look takes me about 10 minutes. So, cause like I go just like super fast, like everything is just like, how I do it all the time so yeah this is the look and I hope you guys enjoyed it 
I might be making a cooking video soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And yeah, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Give me a comment down below of like what you did or did not like or what you want to see next. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.